These four business sectors are making millionaires in Africa. And if you didn't know, in the next 10 years, Africa's millionaires is going to be increasing by 42%. And we would love you to be part of it. So in this video, I am going to be revealing to you the four most profitable business sectors in Africa that you really need to invest in right now. Welcome to Africa Today. My name is Elvin Jake and my mission is to bring information your way. So what you need to know is that these sectors are nothing new for this, nothing new under the sun. But the only difference is that these are sectors that are really booming right now in Africa and they are like the four pillar stones of Africa's development. So if you are an entrepreneur planning to invest in Africa, the first sector you should think of is the health sector. Most Africans have gotten to the realization that that they shouldn't rely on the government alone and are beginning to drift more towards the private sectors. If you've noticed, most Africans who've got the money usually fly their patients abroad for treatment just because of the simple reason that, according to them, Africa doesn't have up to standard clinics for their patients. This is somehow ambiguous because people often get offended when they hear that, but let's face reality. And now, since the African youths are changing the narrative, some few Africans have tried to invest in modern, sophisticated, up-to-standard clinics in Africa, and they are making millions, okay? I'm a mom of five, and the clinic in Yaoundé, where I've had all my ultrasounds done, is a very, very modern and sophisticated clinic, and I can assure you that the owner of that clinic makes millions in dollars. So when we talk of investing in healthcare in Africa, we talk of such clinics. Do you know that there are clinics in Africa right now where women spend over a thousand dollars to give birth to a baby? And do you also know that there are clinics in Africa right now where people spend over two hundred dollars just to treat malaria? Those are things that were unthinkable or inimaginable years back, but that's reality here in Africa right now. People are ready to spend whatever it takes to stay healthy. Another thing that makes the health sector so lucrative in Africa is the fact that most Africans now own cars. And you know, being a car owner literally means that you live from one place to another in a vehicle and you hardly exercise. And they don't work like Africans used to do back in the days. One of the reasons why Africans used to be very healthy was that they used to trek kilometers. Okay? Africans used to trek a lot to go to places, but now they do that no more. So they begun having lots of health issues right now especially those who have the money know that health is worth so that's why most of them often travel abroad for those services so the few up to standard clinics that have been opened in africa right now are making a lot of money so if you're passionate about healthcare, you have no excuse right now. Go ahead and launch your healthcare business in Africa. The next business sector we are going to be talking here about is obviously education. You guys know Africa is at a stage where Africa is upgrading its standards. Yeah, that's how I could simply put it in basic terms. Africa is upgrading right now. And when we talk of upgrading, it starts with its education, okay? The African parents right now prefer more and more convenient environment for their kids. Most parents, unless they can't afford, go for high-end schools. That's actually what's trending right now in Africa. Most people want their kids to schools that are of international standards, okay? As I'm talking to you right now, there is a brand new Canadian school that was opened in my vicinity recently, and the school is flooded this academic year with students. It is floated beyond expectation with students and the fees is not cheap okay and lots of parents are sending their kids to such schools right now these are the type of schools that back then in africa were meant only for a few but now lots of parents can afford such schools for their kids and there are also schools right now in africa that cost more than two thousand dollars a year and people are actually sending their kids to such schools so investing in a good modern school in Africa, you are good to go. And also another type of school you could launch in Africa is a professional school. 
any school that you could invest in in Africa where skills are being thought is a good deal. Lots of Africans are striving to be trained to have skills that they could monetize and set up their enterprises and be their own boss. That's what most African youths are going for right now. They've stopped the dependency on the government. They are out for their sole proprietorship. They are out for being their own bosses and you opening any school that's going to promote that ideology of theirs, you are sure going to make millions in Africa. The third business sector here, obviously, is the real estate sector. Right now in Africa, there's no way you could ever go wrong when you invest in anything that has to do with the real estate. Let me explain. Right now, I can't emphasize this enough. I've said it a hundred times on this channel. Africa is going huge on real estate. Africans are madly in love with smart homes right now buildings with multiple flats and penthouses, Airbnbs, and you name it. Africans are so passionate about that right now, and everyone is investing. They've also understood that land is the only thing that keeps appreciating, and lots of Africans are investing in buying of land. So if you can invest in the real estate sector, like setting up an agency that helps people to buy and sell their land or helps people to build their homes or an agency that helps to supervise the building of people's homes, you are sure going to make millions in Africa. There's no doubt about that. Now, the fourth business idea I am going to be talking about here is nothing new, but it's actually the pillar of Africa's development right now. And I hope you've guessed already that we are talking of agriculture. The agricultural sector in Africa is the pillar. When I talk of the pillar, I mean the pillar because right now, as I'm talking to you, Africans have understood that they shouldn't be importing any food stuff from any other country or continent right now. So they are going huge on agriculture. Africans are investing in plantations. There are lots of things that you could produce in Africa right now. And we have a video coming up where we are going to be giving you some of the most lucrative things that you could cultivate in Africa right now. That's why if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should do that right away so that you get notified once we upload that video. And I also want to emphasize right now that if you are embarking on agriculture and you have the means, you better import the machinery for your agricultural project. Because here in Africa, we are facing real shortage when it comes to agricultural machinery, okay? We are talking here of things like caterpillars, bulldozers, sealers and everything, even harvesters. So if you want to go for agricultural investments in Africa, you better import the machinery as well if you have the means. So if you were wondering which sector you could invest in Africa in, here are the four main sectors you could do your investment in Africa in. So if there's any other concern you would like us to address when it comes to investment in Africa, please don't hesitate to drop your comments down below and we are going to cater for it. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you on our next one.